You know, sometimes on our channel we do things for the channel. I mean, we still love whatever we're doing or we wouldn't do it. But sometimes it's like 60% for the channel, 40% for me and Abby. In this case, this is one of the times it's more for me. And I hope that you guys just enjoy it because I'm gonna enjoy it. It's not very often we get to do our wings, especially one that was designed to do FPV. Now this comes in in a kit form at about $55, which is amazing. I think that's awesome because it's a carbon fiber fuselage with more than enough room for your receiver, your battery. There's a little room back here for your FPV antenna. And then there's a special spot up here for your FPV camera. And even right here at the tip of the plane, you can put a small action cam on there. Really cool. It's designed to come apart if it crashes too magnetically. So these wings are held on with pretty strong magnets. There we go. You can see I've separated it. Don't want to take it all the way off because I did a good job with my wires. <laughs> um, and that, that's, that's cool. So, you know, I started this little project a while ago and I think I, I don't know, I stopped for some reason. And then I saw it up on the top of my shelf just earlier today and I thought, oh, I want to finish this. So I did. I sat down today, I put it together the rest of the way, I bound it up to a receiver, everything is good to go. This puppy will fly on a 3S or 4S system the way I have it set up. They used to have a plug and play version of this, which I would have highly recommended because it was under $100. That's how I got mine. But I'm, I'm flying on a 40 amp ESC. You can pick those up just about anywhere. I've got an XT60 plug on mine. And then my motor is a 2216 size, brushless of course, 22, uh, I'm sorry, 2000 kV, and it is clockwise. This is a clockwise motor because it's a pusher prop. So bear that in mind. Although brushless motors you can reverse, you know, but it's a clockwise motor. So I've also put in my tactic receiver right back here. I put some awesome looking RC Sailor stickers all over it, as well as some of their stickers. A little bit of decals on the bottom, just to help with orientation. And I, I'm excited to maiden this line of sight today with a 3S pack, a 4S pack, and, and if Abby wants to, it's all her. I'm, uh, but we're gonna maiden it, she's gonna see how she feels about it, and she might fly it, because the pusher prop wings are her kind of cup of tea. This is really more for Abby. Uh, and if it goes well, you might see us set up an FPV system on this. I'd like to chase some planes with this or just fly around and do some fun stuff. So enough talking, let's put this in the air. Okay, Nate's got it all set up. He said his CG feels like it's tail heavy. We'll see how this goes. I don't wanna launch it like that. <laughs> launch it by the wing. The throw it, yeah. It'd be better if you threw it. It's magnetic, so I gotta go easy. You'll be fine. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, <laughs> so scary. Yeah. Yeah. For once. Wow. It was very scary. <laughs> oh my okay, gosh. Okay, it feels pretty good. I, I didn't, I've seen people hand launch this um, on their videos, because honestly, I, I didn't look up anything on this before I flew it, but I did look up how people were launching it, because I know the wings held on with a magnet, and uh, everyone was launching it, like holding it under and I thought that is just stupid you're asking for a prop strike on your hand uh, it's flying really nice so I just didn't feel comfortable doing that I felt like my hand was gonna get caught in it and I don't want to go to the hospital you did good with fingers the yeah. more you practice that launch the better it'll look yeah so it does feel a little tail heavy uh, like Abby said on my launch and that's kind of why I'm flying so high I'm just trying to get a feel for it to see if I need to trim it up and I, I think I do because when I launched it I launched it with about 10 clicks of up elevator uh, of trim <clears throat> let's see I think I did it too much there okay it needs a little bit of up elevator trim and now it's flying pretty good that looks good <clears throat> I'd say this is the lowest cruising speed I've ever had on an airplane so this is designed to be a racer and on 4s can push a hundred miles an hour Right now, I think I've got my throttle on 30% juice. It's <clears throat> fast. Huh? It's fast. fast. Pass? It's fast. It's, oh, yeah. It's fast. Very, very <laughs> what are you fast. talking about fast passes for? I don't know. I thought you said fast pass. So I'm no, gonna, I said I'm that's fast. Juice. And surprisingly, the sun's coming out now. Let's do a little faster. This is on a 3S pack. So I did my maiden on a 3S with a 40 amp ESC. We can easily have a 4S pack, but here's, here's full throttle. Yeah. 
And in that wind, I yeah, mean, it's can... wobbling. Yeah. Full throttle on 3S. <clears throat> Just starting to get a feel for it now. It's coming to life. Nice. Yeah, this is feeling pretty good. I it like looks this. Looks good on this side of the field. Just so now you know. it's oh, set no, up to do. Uh, oh, you went high. <clears throat> There you you are. should be able to also have rudder on here. There's a spot for rudder if you want. Uh, definitely didn't want to add it. I'm, I'm good with bank and yank on this. It can just climb forever and roll wild while climbing. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, you this just is do an really aileron nice input? Just aileron there, yeah. So does this have <clears throat> rudder? How does that work with... Well, help? the two vertical stabilizers, you'd have to have two rudders, but you can. There's a spot for it. But we don't have it no. on there. Okay. Uh, the, the plug and play version didn't have it and it's just got like a little cutout and the rudders are set up by default um, to be stiff so they're just nice vertical stabilizers but you can turn them into a hinge very easily okay yeah so this is an fpv racer you know going through trees and gates and i'm flying a line of sight and it's a blast i mean they made this thing really well this is a sonic model plane just doing some figure eights here the rolls are nice and it climbs really well. I don't think I've done an actual loop. I think you would like flying this, but it's a handful. Yeah, most deltas are. <laughs> it's definitely a handful. But it's fun once you get a feel for it. I was a little nervous on that whole first couple minutes of flight. Yeah, it's really nice. I want to see how it does inverted here on the next pass. I'm just going to roll it over and hold it inverted. This thing is really cool. I'm excited to have it. Yeah, it flies inverted, okay. I'm really high up, I know, but flying a wing inverted just feels weird. <laughs> Roll it back over. <clears throat> Loop. It seems like it would be really hard to tell orientation between It's up a little and difficult. Down. Yeah, orientation's a little difficult on this. The only thing I have going for me is the two little vertical stabilizers. Yeah. And if you lose that, you know, you gotta you gotta push up or down really fast and figure out what orientation is for you. So you really got to pay attention when you're flying this. It's it's not a, I don't think it's really a great line of sight plane. I mean, I'm having fun, really a good time, but it's designed for FPV. You know, FPV give you good, you're always, always going to have good orientation unless your signal cuts out. And this is one of my favorite batteries that I have in here. It's just a really old Luminaire battery. I don't know, I think I got like the magic battery or something. Oh man. Uh, that was weird. All I did was give elevator input and it did a crazy twist. Maybe a gust of wind knocked it out of whack or something. That was that was really strange. I think I just gave too much elevator. Watch this. Let's try that again. I don't know. Yeah, it has a weird... That was weird. It's kind of like twisting out of place. Here. See that? That's just elevator. <clears throat> don't know what's going on. So if I'm full throttle and I yank back on elevator really hard, it just kind of loses total control. Puppy is fast, and this is on just 3S. I'm a little nervous for 4S, but I want to do it. And then to the sun. Sorry. There's a full speed pass, and we'll just kind of roll it. And do you know my flight time yet? Uh, five minutes, okay. five and a half minutes. Th this battery, I don't know. Like I said, I think I have a magic battery. It basically never dies. Uh, I've had it for like eight years. <laughs> Abby, you're welcome to fly this. I don't know. It is kind of crazy. Yeah, and, I don't know. The Zod wings are perfect for you. Yeah, with the sky right now, it's with hard. my vision, yeah. and then with orientation, I just don't know about wings right and, now. And I could totally crash this any second. Yeah. Like I, I'm not extremely confident in my own ability with this. It's a blast. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just telling you. It could come down any second. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys I'm due for a crash, and I just feel like if I got behind the controller on this one, it could happen. I yeah. would just this, be doomed. This doesn't hold level. I mean, this is that. I would. It's very rare that I come out and say, you know, well, maybe fifty percent of the planes we do or more are at an intermediate skill level. I would I'd call this an advanced skill level. I really would. Um, it's there's no stabilization at all. It's just crazy, it's fast. It's squirrely in the wind, although it handles it. And there's zero throttle. It can glide, coming out of some speed, but yeah, it, it glides well. And it's a blast. I, I'm, I'm good, like I'm pretty confident here for the most part. But yeah, 
you might want to build up a little <laughs> yeah. a little longer and then you could fly it you know midsummer. hopefully we get some fpv set up on it that's what i want to do i just want to have a little bit more variety in the airplane world and this is just so cheap i couldn't couldn't say no to this right right 55 dollars for the kit now bear in mind you need a motor esc receiver and battery and servos i believe i don't think the kit comes with servos you just disappear in those clouds. Yeah, it's wild, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I've got visual lock on it this whole time. But if, this is a plane that if I looked away for a second, <laughs> it's done. This is a plane nice. that if I was flying, I would be crying because I wouldn't have been blinking this whole flight. I don't know why you do that. <laughs> well, you know what? We promised a 4S flight, so let's do that before uh, this video ends up being 20 minutes long. So. Uh, I think I'm just going to zero throttle from there and glide it in. It should work. <clears throat> I don't think I'll need throttle to get it here. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, let's do it. I didn't need throttle. I did not need throttle. Come on, prop. Oh, yeah. Let's hope good I didn't job. break the prop. Nah, that was a good landing. <laughs> All right, 4S takeoff. I'm pretty nervous for Nate. The last takeoff on 3S was a little petrifying. All right, it's in the air. It is in the air. Very nice. Does it feel faster? Oh yeah. He said, oh yeah. <laughs> That's why I had to back off on my takeoff. I was only at like 50% throttle on the takeoff and then I was like, whoa, that's too fast. <laughs> uh, this is about 30% throttle, so here we go. There's full throttle. Holy moly. Oh man. You're so far away. They can't yeah. even see you. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this. Full throttle. Screaming. Wow. You can just climb. Oh, sorry, into the sun. We'll do it over here. Okay, here we go. Full throttle pass. Wow. Let's climb up and we'll just. You want to go to the moon, Abby? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, zero throttle. I'm just going to let it fall. Wow! There's some planes that just disappear at certain angles. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of them. Yeah, it really does. Like, I'm telling you, this is advanced. Unless you're flying an FPV, I'd call it an intermediate airplane. On 4S, it just feels almost unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> but really cool. I mean, if you want to crank that throttle, you can. But I'm telling you, when you do, it starts just really shaking. I mean, I feel like this is a, a plane that would benefit from something like AS3X technology. I mean, it really needs to have it kind of smoothened out a little bit, at least in my opinion. You know, it's not very windy today. Beautiful day. It'll just kind of, you just throw the sticks whatever direction, it'll do it. It's fun. I mean, to those of you that are watching, I think you basically, if you made it this far in the video, you just are awesome, first of all. But you know, you know if you're the type of person that would like this or not. I mean, you either like to fly nice and scale and just keep that pretty plane in the air and then occasionally throw a loop or a rollout, or you love that heart pumping adrenaline rush, and this is going to give that to you. I mean, in every sense of the word. I just killed the throttle just for fun. <clears throat> it glides really well. It's balanced nicely. I thought it would be tail heavy. The weird thing is the CG is marked on the plane, but when I'm holding it by the by the markings it doesn't feel right i mean it feels so tail heavy but when it's in the air it feels perfect so if you do happen to pick one of these up and you're trying to balance your battery and you're like what is going on pull up uh, pull up yeah okay, very nice, nice. Yeah. you did like so a this is backwards S. an outside <laughs> loop i keep calling it an inverted loop that was a full-on outside loop there so we'll do that we'll go back and then we do a nice outside loop. I'm like still it. upside down. It's the still letter S. Down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been watching Sesame Street. <laughs> Thanks, Amelia. Elmo's world. <laughs> okay. Well, let's move on. <laughs> Wild little thing. Look at that. See that little gust of wind? Goes pow, pow. You get flight stabilization in any way. It kind of smoothens that stuff out. Let's do a little elevator with ailerons yeah some wild corkscrew things this is fun guys i mean the general conclusion i can wrap it up easily in, in this uh while it's in the air i'm liking it i i think i'm i'm really happy with how it performs and it definitely makes me want to put a camera setup on here uh, and fly a little fpv wing stuff it's fast it's kind of small i guess you know a thousand millimeters it's actually 10 
1030. It's 1030 millimeters uh, wingspan. That's a good size on the ground, but when you're flying something this fast, you got to keep a little bit of air space there. You, you don't want this to crunch into the ground at full throttle. It's designed to fall apart, I guess, on impact too. That's why the wings are... Let's test it out. No. <laughs> I don't want to. This thing... I, I can started, test it out I, real easy. I, I don't know why, again, that I stopped working on it. Uh, because uh, well, I think we got this early 2018, so yeah, I'm gonna blame the kiddo. Maybe that's why. And we just so you started probably working on it and then set it aside and then forgot. Yeah, it got I, and pushed it stayed aside. on top of a shelf hidden forever. And I wish I would have done it sooner. I mean, it's really rare for something like that to happen with us, we don't push things aside that long. Uh, but anyway, I saw it and I thought, man, that looks like fun. What's what's it need? You know, I got it out and I thought. Oh, I hate starting on a project that I'm in the middle of a project on. What in the world could this thing need? Oh, there. See, zero throttle. Um, a little gust of wind pushed me, and I almost winged down into the ground. I mean, a keen eye would have seen right there what I'm talking about. Good gust of wind. But look at that. At that profile, it disappears, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Except for the black center fuselage. I mean, it just turns into a little gnat at certain angles. If you just keep it at the right angle, it just goes away. And watch right here. Boom, disappeared right into that cloud. Crazy, definitely, again. It really opinion, disappears over here. Advanced pilots only, or you maybe turn right semi-advanced. <laughs> but I like it, it is a blast, it's fast. I don't know if it's hitting 100 miles an hour, but it sure feels like it. And maybe a year, two years from now, or who knows, maybe next week, I do want to FPV this thing, and so, Hopefully that hits the channel soon. I've got my FPV wing now. This is this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, this will be the craft to carry my fast FPV setup. So uh, let's land it. And on that note, I think I can just gladly say thank you guys so much for watching. And I really wanna say thanks to all of our existing patrons. Just anyone that has ever been a patron or is a current patron, I thank you so much because you guys are just the best. You. Uh, Help us keep doing what we're doing here. And let's get a nice, smooth, slow landing. Yeah! Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!